Hey folks, I am redoing a video today. I've been wanting to do this for a long time because this is one of my favorites from, from nine years ago. And it's this uh, celery olive salad. I'll put a little tag up here that to the original, but I wanted to update this with uh, using the Casa Ventrano olives instead of the, the regular um, manzanilla olives. And I wanted to throw a few more twists in there, some, some differences uh, just to update it a bit because this is fantastic. And this came from uh, a potluck at work years ago, nine years ago, where a woman brought this salad and everybody just absolutely loved it. So I had to track her down and she gave me the recipe. So the rest is history. So I wanted to make this again. And this is how I am I made it. And by the way, I write all of my recipes down. I have it in my head and then I start working on it and then I cross things out and then I add things. So that's what I did with this recipe. And uh, I want to see what you think. So this is how I made it. Come back and we'll give it a taste test. Okay, I'm going to start out with two cups of thinly sliced celery. It's about four ribs. And uh, yeah, you want, want this to be about that thickness. Same with the olives. And then I've got a cup of the Castle Vantrano olives, about the same thickness. A teaspoon of oregano, dried oregano, of course. Teaspoon of kosher salt. A clove of freshly minced garlic. This is where I differ from the original. I use garlic powder. Now I've got two tablespoons of olive oil and a tablespoon of white wine vinegar. And I'm going to add about a half teaspoon of crushed red pepper flakes. I want to kick this up a little bit. And then just some fresh ground black pepper to taste. If you don't want either of these, you can leave them out. Let's give this a toss. Okay, I'm gonna give it a taste. Yep, that's all good. Transfer this to another dish and refrigerate it. And then let's give it a taste test. And there it is. Looks looks very similar. Uh, I can tell you right off the bat, it smells different because of the, the fresh garlic as opposed to the garlic powder. I'm really glad I went with the fresh garlic. It just, it just opens it up, adds a lot of flavor. And uh, the addition of the uh, crushed red pepper flakes, I think is gonna be really good because I like it a little spicier. Plus those Kessel Von Trano olives. Okay, let me, let me get a little bit here and then uh, give it a taste. You know, whether you like um, celery or olives or you don't like either one of them, this is really good. Uh, that was one of the interesting things uh, at the potluck at, at lunch, at the, the potluck lunch, the potluck lunch at work is a lot of people said the same thing. Eh, I'm really not a big olive fan, not a celery fan, but this is great. <laughs> so, here we go. Give it a try. Try to get a little bit of olive, a little bit of celery, a little bit of garlic. Wow. I'm going in for another one. That is, that is so good. Wow. Now that has only been refrigerated for about an hour. Tomorrow, this is going to be even better. Those flavors will really come together. But I just wanted to give this a taste for, for y'all to, to see. But yeah, you could easily double this, make a bigger batch than this. I like to scale it down for a smaller batch for, for me, me, me and my, my wife. So there you have it, folks. Celery and olive salad, make it, trust me, make it. 
If you don't like it, let me know. If you do like it, let me know that as well. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.